<laughs> the Sopranos is a HBO crime drama which stars James Gandolfini as Tony Soprano, boss of the New Jersey crime family, as he maneuvers and navigates his way through mob life and family life. Throughout these series' six seasons, Tony comes across many adversaries, many psychopathic individuals such as Ruchi Aprile. There is perhaps no greater psychotic character in the show than the cunning Ralph Cifaretto, a captain in Tony's own crew and one of the highest earners in the family. Unstable, volatile, highly obnoxious and a huge fan of Ridley Scott's Gladiator, Ralph is often at odds with many characters in the show, even Tony himself. Some of the most despicable acts in this show are attributed to him, including the disturbing beating and murder of a 20-year-old pregnant stripper. He mentors Jackie Jr. and inspires him to rob a mob card game, which causes the death of Jackie Jr. He makes a weight joke about Johnny Sachs' wife, underboss of a powerful New York family, which almost ends with his own death and causes bad blood between New York and New Jersey. He allegedly has a fire started at a horse stable for the insurance where Piomai, a racehorse beloved to Tony, is badly injured and needs to be put to sleep. When Tony comes to Ralph's house and confronts him, the two end up coming to blows and Ralph is strangled and killed by Tony. In spite of his volatile nature, Ralph has emerged as a fan favourite character. He may be utterly despicable, but he is funny as hell, and many of the most comical scenes of the show are as a result of him and his shenanigans. He's probably the closest The Sopranos got to having Joe Pesci on the show. Played immaculately by Joe Pantoliano of The Matrix and Memento fame, Ralph fully deserves his reputation as one of the best of the many colourful characters on the show, and stories, quotes and interviews over the years suggest that Pantoliano, also known as Joey Pant, enjoyed his time on the series and was loved by the cast. However, it appears that some bad blood emerged towards the end of The Sopranos' run, long after Joey Pants had left the show. In 2007, Pantoliano was upset about a Vanity Fair photo spread, which featured his dead character decapitated. As Sopranos fans know, after Ralph was killed by Tony, Tony and Christopher Montesanti dispose of the body. Christopher cuts Ralph's head and hands off with a meat cleaver, and his body is wrapped and thrown into a quarry. Now, in the Vanity Fair photo spread, Ralph's head is used as part of the promotional material to promote the final season of the show, but it isn't Pantoliano that we see in the shot, as he refused to take part in the spread. It's a body double, and it caused the actor to become angry, but not seemingly because of not being paid money or royalties or anything like that. Apparently, it's because his three young daughters saw the photo and it disturbed them. Understandable then, I think. Pantoliano reportedly sent a furious letter directly to Sopranos creator David Chase, expressing his frustration and disappointment, and claiming that his character's inclusion in the photo was in poor taste. Words like despicable and diabolical were used in the letter, and Pantoliano added that his image was used without his permission. Interestingly, Joey Pence was the only deceased Sopranos actor at the time to turn down the chance to appear in the Vanity Fair spread, with the likes of Drea Di Matteo and Vincent Pastore agreeing to reprise their characters for the spread. This was all more than 10 years ago, but I wonder if Pantoliano still has hard feelings about the situation, or if the likes of David Chase took offence to him taking offence. I wonder if this has anything to do with why, at the time of the making of this video, Joey Pants is one of the few primary actors on the show who has yet to appear on Steve Sciarippa and Michael Imperioli's podcast, Talking Sopranos, and he isn't scheduled to make an appearance. By the time I release this video, Talking Sopranos might be over, but they've had all sorts of actors on there. The actors who played Carmela, Artie, Rosalie, Richie April, Silvio, Adriana, Rusty, Eugene, Uncle Junior, Hesh, Pussy, Little Carmine, Furio, Carlo, Janice, and that animal Blondetto. Practically everyone who is alive and healthy has been on the podcast. Tony Sirico hasn't been on it, and apparently he is in poor health. I don't think the guy who played Vito has been on it, and I know there were issues between him and other cast members, with him making out that he and James Gandolfini were very close when they weren't. So that only really leaves Pantoliano as the only major omission. For more Sopranos videos, consider subscribing to the channel, and thanks for watching.